50 years ago, a giant monster suddenly appeared in the Thirst Quencher Empire, neighboring country to the All-You-Can-Eat Kingdom. Yes, that's actually what it's called. This monster was known as the Wizard of Darkness and was a huge creature made almost entirely of a powerful crystal known as Benchotite. After easily destroying the Thirst Quencher Empire, the monster made way for All-You-Can-Eat, seeking the bountiful supply of Benchotite believed to be buried there. The monster destroyed everything along the way. It is believed that many creatures were born of this destruction as the Wizard of Darkness had a strange effect on everything that crossed its path. Upon hearing of the Wizard of Darkness' approach, King All-You-Can-Eat ordered the Hero Summon spell to be cast. The Hero Summon spell is a special magical power that is handed down generation to generation amongst only the princesses of All-You-Can-Eat. A closely guarded state secret, this power is used only as a last resort when the kingdom is faced with great danger. It grants its user the ability to summon a hero through incantations made over a specially prepared crystal of Benchotite. The summoned hero called upon to defeat the Wizard of Darkness was a two-sworded fencer named Musashi. Musashi accepted the princess's task and set out on a journey to defeat the Wizard of Darkness. Musashi and the Wizard of Darkness battled fiercely for a long time. Even for a hero like Musashi, the Wizard of Darkness proved to be a formidable foe. Finally, with the help of Lumina, the Sword of Luminescence, Musashi was able to seal the monster within a magical ward. It is said that Musashi then divided the power of the monster into the five elements of earth, water, fire, wind, and sky, and then sealed them within five crests. These five crests became known as the Five Scrolls, and in the years to follow, passed into myth along with the legend of the brave fencer, Musashi. Things began rather suddenly. For years, tension had been steadily rising between the All-You-Can-Eat Kingdom and the Thirst Quencher Empire. Finally, after diplomatic relations between the two nations ceased, the Thirst Quencher... God dang it. <laughs> the Thirst Quencher Empire abruptly attacked the All-You-Can-Eat Kingdom. Unfortunately for All You Can Eat, the king and queen were absent at the time of the attack. As if the Thirst Quencher Empire had timed its invasion according to their absence, the invasion began with a specific goal in mind. Wait, wait, wait. Began with one specific goal in mind. To capture Lumina, the sword of luminescence. Unable to repel the surprise attack, All You Can Eat's army lost ground quickly while the enemy pressed on toward the castle. As the Thirst Quencher army approached the castle, the senior members of All You Can Eat realized that their only hope would be to summon a hero. And thus begins the legend of Brave Fencer Musashi. What's up, YouTube? Brave Fencer Musashi! My name is Cool Story Brobat, and just as you've heard there, this is Brave Fencer Musashi. This is a let's play I've wanted to do forever and some change. Let me let me tell you a little let me tell you a little background about this, man. This game I actually didn't have this game. I mean this is an old PlayStation 1 game. Like like look at that. Look at them graphics. This is an old PlayStation 1 game. And even though I didn't grow up playing this game as a kid, you know how PlayStations used to have those little demo discs that had like all the sample games on them you could play around with? Well, this is one of them. And I actually liked playing this, the demo to this game a whole lot. Like you could play like through three different levels and you know, I guess like three different little missions in the game, I guess. And it was pretty fun, man. I liked it a lot. And I just was kind of upset that I could never play through it as a kid. So I, I really didn't know what I was missing out on much as I wanted to do it so fast forward a bit to like six years ago well almost six years ago january no december 2009 just a little bit under six years ago i was 17 years old i was bored out of my mind and i decided you know i'm gonna look it up i wonder if i could actually get a playstation emulator running on my old laptop back then my old laptop was actually like not obsolete it was actually pretty decent so I went back then, I went back there, and I actually got a PlayStation emulator on my laptop, 
and I got Brave Venture Musashi, and I downloaded the whole game, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. However, I was using a regular PSX emulator. I wasn't using EPSXE like I am now. So something weird about it was I couldn't watch the opening cutscene to the game. I played through the whole thing, and I was just wondering what the heck was going on that I couldn't see the opening cutscene without the thing freezing. So I said I'll just skip it. I could watch the cutscene on YouTube, whatever. Played through the whole game, and it wouldn't let me go to the final boss. Like, the, the, the boss before the final boss, the game just froze. It just went to a black screen forever. Couldn't do nothing about it. I was pissed. So that pretty much cut any hope I had of it short. And ever since then, I just was never able to finish the game. <laughs> This emulator, however, Brave this Vesha emulator, however, I, I put you guys to sleep long enough, I'm going to cut to it, I swear. This emulator, however, does let you see that opening cutscene, so hopefully it lets me get to that final boss, too. I did not feel like playing through this whole thing just to see if it could or couldn't, so we're just going to have to find out. Um, yeah, this is Brave Friends and Musashi, old PlayStation 1 game. I've been wanting to do a Let's Play of this on my channel forever. And I've been testing my stuff, 3D footage and whatnot, just to see if I could do it. And I think I finally got the tools to do it. So without further ado, let's begin this, man. I really hope this Let's, let's Play it. gets a lot of views, man. And I hope this is, like, one of my popular videos. Because I've been wanting to do this forever, man. Like, people probably forgot. People probably thought I forgot about this, but I didn't. Uh... I mean, it's a great game, honestly. It's like, if I'm not mistaken, I think this game was like Squaresoft's. Yeah, this is back when it was Squaresoft, not Square Enix. Squaresoft's response to Legend of Zelda, I think. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up because there's a cutscene coming up. There does be no effect. They shall find it out hereabouts soon. They were waiting for the king's absence to attack. Like, why is the bicho type so large? Does this mean? It is eminently necessary that you perform hero summon. Oh, we can finally meet him, the lovely and handsome brave <laughs> Fencer Musashi. Princess, please resume your assignment. Here goes nothing. Oh, he's here! Our gracious hero, brave Fensa Musashi. Mm, he's rather <laughs> small. This will not do. It must have been too large of a task for the princess. Hey, wait! Like, do you think I'd actually make a mistake? Have you guys seen the real Sir Musashi? No, we haven't. Then maybe the real Sir Musashi is this puny little thing. What the? Who did you say was puny? And why are you guys wearing such stupid costumes? Stupid costumes? Take that back, you... you little turd! <laughs> Please, princess, so little turd. Calm it down! <laughs> the name's Musashi, Sir you little geezer. turd. No, oh, pardon it, me. We doth have a request for thou, Sir Musashi. You're not serious, are you? It's too much of a chore for this little lad. If the princess summoneth him, he must doth be a credible hero. What do you guys want? Let me go home. I'm busy, you know? Can someone get me a palanquin? You've been summoned to save our world. So you can't go back to your world until you save ours. Uh, isn't it just a shame? And you will remain in this world until the absorbed Bincho energy from the summoning disappears. What do you mean I have to save this world? And I'll die if that what's it energy disappears? Ha! There doth not be enough time. You must immediately head forthwith to Spiral Tower. 
they would definitely be prowling about the area looking for Lumina. Lumina. Thus, please take this with you. It's called fusion. Hey, pretty cool looking sword. Fusion has surpassingly miraculous powers. When it pierces an enemy, it absorbs and assimilates its abilities. Next, it and the ability comes back to you to utilize. Shout out to Kirby. It's called Assimilate. But I think this is cooler. Assimilate? Sounds cool. Thanks, pal. It'll come in handy. By the way, what's this huge sheet and this note? That's Lumina's sheet. We want you to go to Spiral Tower, which is like right behind the castle. The sword of luminescence, Lumina, is on the roof. That note will show you how to get there. Okay, so I need to get Lumina, right? That's right. <laughs> Our world can have peace when we have Lumina and the five scrolls. And if you're the real Musashi, you can get Lumina. We're counting on you, you know? Huh? Ripson? Where's Musashi? He doth be wait, princess. Impatient doth he be. He doth gone out of here. Alright, but yeah, um, so I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys might be curious as to why, like, the game just shoved you straight into that and, like, what the whole background was. Like... Shoot! Why do I have to do this? What the heck? I'll get Lumina, and then I'm out of here! Like, you might be curious because, like, it doesn't really explain any of the background behind what happened. Like, who's attacking the castle, all this. I mean, PlayStation games, this was back in an era where people actually read the manuals. Where, because development took so much time and stuff, you know, it's better to just put the boring introductory bits of the story into the game's booklet. So you can get straight to the action. So, uh, and I actually did not have a chance to read the manual, so... I guess I gotta go do that. Cause I actually am not really all too sure. I mean, I haven't, I kinda, I kinda get it. But I don't know the full background. Like, why this guy was taken from, what I'm assuming was a feudal time, cause this dude's like a samurai. Pretty much. And why he was shoved into like the medieval world. It's like two different types of feudal. But even though this game is supposedly in a medieval setting, there's what we call anachronisms all throughout it, where like eventually there's things that just seem out of context for the time period that just happen to be there. So yeah, I'm gonna just play through this first out, this first section of the game real quick, and hopefully y'all enjoy this. Ow! I keep forgetting my my button layout. And by the way, these enemies that are like. Wearing these, this gear, like this dude right here, these are actually pigs. Like you might have heard him squealing, like that. He's actually a pig. Like a literal mutant pig. They, yeah, the bet. It's a long story. I don't think I can explain it. <laughs> Shoot, it's too far to jump. Huh? Hey, I know. I'll use fusion to get his abilities. Yeah, so you might have noticed in the bottom screen, there's two gauges, like one says HP and one says BP. The BP is the Bencho power, which is basically your fuel for any attacks you assimilate from the opponent. And it's also like a measure of your vitality, like if you run out of BP, Musashi's gonna fall asleep. But yeah, we're gonna shoot some telekinetic bullets right quick. What a cinch! I'll use Gunshot to hit those logs and... Look at that. Look at that. I kind of like this ability. I mean, I think it's just kind of cool that you can just shoot. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. And it takes a while to kill anything. But still. It's pretty fun. But every bullet takes, like, a bit of your BP. So you gotta, you gotta be careful about how you use it. And that little orb I got just restored my BP. So, hey.
I'm gonna do this little section before I wrap this up, this episode. This is Spiral Tower? But where's the tower? Hmm, where's that note I got at the castle? Let's see. The path will not open unless you sacrifice a warrior. Maybe those statues have something to do with it. Yeah, he's shooting circles at you. These things are like some type of power source for the statue. Ow. Hey, something's under this statue. Give it a stomp. Let's give it a stomp. That's one. I gotta take all of them out. I keep hitting the wrong button. God dang it. Yeah, basically, you gotta stomp on these things here, and something's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know why I kept hitting circle. I mean, I'm using my laptop control, so I had to customize it. But you know what? I wanted to do that one time. Spiral Tower, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. This is actually one of my favorite songs in the game, but it's like the only part where you actually even hear this. <laughs> But I mean, there's like a lot of variations of this song throughout the game, so I guess you kind of do hear it. Ow. Okay. How did, okay, how did that one get me? tower i'm gonna end the let's play here for now for this episode anyway so thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe favorite and uh hopefully you guys look forward to the next episode of this peace <laughs>